Lumago ang ekonomiya ng bansa nitong huling quarter ng 2016. Inisa-isa ng Bangko Sentral ng Pilipinas o BSP ang dahilan gaya ng pamumuhunan sa business process outsourcing pati na malakas na remittance ng mga overseas Filipino workers. Nakabawi rin ayon sa BSP ang industriya ng exports. Si Mean Corbera sa detalye. Tumaas ng 1.2% o katumbas ng 1 billion US dollars ang ekonomiya ng bansa sa huling quarter ng 2016. Sa report ng Bangko Sentral ng Pilipinas, sinabi ni BSP Deputy Governor Diwa Gunigundo na lumakas ang importation at ang patuloy na ekspansyon ng mga mamumuhunan lalo na sa business process outsourcing o BPO industry kung saan nakapagtala ng kita na 4.6 billion dollars. Nakarecover na rin anya ang export industry na tumaas ng halos 6%. Is that uh, the economy is growing, so uh, there was an import surge in 2016. Um, for for the for the quarter um, 2000, uh, for the fourth quarter 2016, um, while exports grew by 3.8 percent, imports surged by 16.5 percent. So clearly. Um, the current account uh, experienced uh, a reversal into a deficit because of the large uh, growth in, in imports. Okay. Uh, and most of these um, imports are um, uh, imports of capital goods, which uh, expanded by nearly 33%. Malaking porsyento raw ay ang bag ng remittances ng mga overseas Filipino workers kung sa anong Enero ngayong 2017 pumalo na sa 8% ang kontribusyon ng mga Pinoy workers. Inamin ng BSP na batay sa kanilang forecast, babagsak na hanggang 3% ang ekonomiya dahil sa political turmoil sa Estados Unidos pero taliwas ito sa inaasahan dahil umakit pa sa positive 0.6% ang paglago nito. The whole year import growth was 16.6%, okay? exceeding our target which uh, Bob earlier cited, uh, <clears throat> 11%. So that was the forecast, 11%, but the actual growth in imports proved to be 16.6%, a lot higher, okay? because the economy continues to grow. And again, uh, purchases of capital goods uh, as well as raw materials and intermediate products, which grew by 42% and 17% respectively, actually underline the current account, the, uh, the, the, the growth in, in imports. Exports actually uh, recovered um, by 0.6% okay, in 2016. In fact, for January, there was a big uh, export growth of 22%. So hopefully we are seeing a trend uh, in terms of uh, export recovery. Malaking ang bag niya rito ang paglakas ng foreign direct investment o pagpasok ng mga dayuhang negosyante sa Pilipinas. Bunsod niya ito ng lumalakas na kumpiyansa ng mga mamumuhunan sa Duterte administration dahil sa panaigting na kampanya laban sa ilegal na droga at mapanatili ang peace and order sa bansa. If you look at the um, uh, approval ratings, of uh, the political leadership, it remains strong. Okay? But that's the only metrics that we can look at and say that uh, that uh, policy uh, has the support of of the public. Um, you have the you have the um, political capital uh, being shown by uh, the high. Uh, Uh, acceptability. Katunayan sa Business Expectation Survey, pinuri ng mga negosyante ang pagbabago sa peace and order ng Pilipinas. The, the sentiment of businesses based on the Business Expectation Survey, uh, they also point to the, the improvement in the peace and order including those uh, drug-related campaigns as contributing to the improved outlook on the, of businesses, on the economy, uh, And I think even the consumers have also stated that in their consumer outlook. Para sa Eagle News, may Ann Corvera, AM1 with 25.